SWIFT is a, an extremely successful NASA satellite that's operating right now. Uh, it's named after a bird which chases insects. Well, the SWIFT satellite doesn't chase insects, it chases gamma ray bursts. The SWIFT uh, instrument sees bursts in a different energy range than GLAST will look at it. And the goal of SWIFT is to rapidly repoint to pick up optical and x-ray emission. GLAST is primarily devoted to seeing in a new energy range. It's designed to pick up at the upper end of the SWIFT energy range and carry it on up to much higher energies. And it allows you to just see, you know, stranger and more exotic things the, the further up in energy that you go. GLAST and SWIFT are very different. SWIFT is like a nimble small satellite that points here and there, but it isn't surveying the whole sky, it's pointing in its particular objects. GLAST looks in the high energy gamma ray sky, looks over the whole sky at all times. One of the wonderful things about GLAST is that we see the whole sky effectively all the time. You need to follow the object all the time in order to, to see its entire uh, range of behavior. We hope when GLAST and SWIFT are up together that we can use them working simultaneously. So when we see something interesting with GLAST, we can ask SWIFT to go look at it with their other telescopes and gain in additional information about it. We can use them working together to really do the gamma ray science and science of the whole universe much better. Well, the launch will be the most exciting thing. You know, I'm sure we'll all be breathless. Launch is just very thrilling. It's a really exciting thing to go to and to experience. But on the other hand, when you've worked on a project for many years, as all of us have, and it's sitting out there on the launch pad, you know that in 90 seconds, it could be all over. On the day of launch, you've, you've turned this half a billion dollar piece of hardware that you've spent five years with over to another group and they're putting it on this enormous rocket and you relinquish total control and so there's there's about an hour there where you're, you're quite anxious. There's a lot of ways a, a launch can go wrong but uh, it's part of the risk you take. It's worth uh, holding your breath, crossing your fingers, whatever you do to, to make sure it works. <laughs> You really are tense uh, when, they, when those rockets go off because a lot is riding on it. Uh, a lot of work by a lot of people and a lot of people's futures too. But there's also the excitement of saying, you know, we've worked on this for so many years and now it's going into space and now we're going to get to do what we really want to do, which is learn about the universe. There's always a chance when you launch a new satellite or open a new window on the universe that you will see things that you hadn't expected. And those are the really exciting and interesting things. So finally now when it comes to a launch, it's really exciting to, to see the instrument, to, to see data coming in. It'll be a rush. <laughs> 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 <laughs>